Hey, DIY enthusiasts, welcome back to Project Weekend. Today, we're diving into the world of power voltage control modules. I've got two exciting devices to share with you. The XL4016 PWM, adjustable 4 to 36 volts, to 1.25 to 36 volts, 8 amps, 200 watts, DC-DC, step-down buck module, and the YW Robot 3.3 and 5 volts, dual output breadboard power supply. Both are super useful for hobbyists and electronics enthusiasts. So let's get started. First up, let's check out the XL4016 adjustable buck converter module. This powerful little unit can step down a DC voltage from 4 to 38 volts to a precise 1.25 to 36 volts with a maximum current of 8 amps. Great for powering different devices. Here's the board itself. Along with it, we've got the voltage adjuster knob, a washer and nut for mounting, and these handy board mount legs. Mounting the board legs is super simple. And the knob fits snugly, but you'll see later why you might want to replace it with a bigger one. The power input side is on the left, and the output headers are on the right. There's also an LED indicator here that changes brightness based on the output voltage. I'm attaching my power input wires here. Now let's test the output using my multimeter. When the voltage controller is set to its off position, the multimeter shows a small leakage voltage. Now I'll slowly turn the knob to adjust the output voltage. I set it to 3.00 volts, but as you can see, the small diameter of this knob makes precise adjustments tricky. A larger knob would make this much easier. After that, I adjusted to 5.00 volts. The maximum output I managed was around 8 to 9 volts, which is well within the range. This module is a buck converter, meaning it can only reduce voltage. It doesn't work as a boost converter, so for applications needing increased voltage, this wouldn't be suitable. To demonstrate its capabilities, I connected a DC motor. Notice this paper attached to the motor rod. This helps visualize the speed. Starting at zero, I slowly increase the voltage. The motor's speed increased smoothly, 
proving this module works great as a simple DC motor speed controller. You can use this module for other devices, like LED lighting, audio amplifiers, and more, as long as the voltage and current stay within the specified range. Overcurrent, over temperature, and short circuit protection. The XL4016 comes with built in protections, so you're covered even in demanding projects. With a 95% efficiency rating, it's super energy efficient. Now let's look at the YW Robot Dual Output Power Supply Board. This small but mighty unit is perfect for prototyping and development. Display its compact design. This board accepts an input voltage from USB or a DC barrel jack and provides two regulated outputs. which you can toggle between 3.3 volts and 5 volts using these jumpers. With an output current of up to 700 milliamps per channel, it's more than enough for most low-power digital circuits. It's designed to mount directly onto a breadboard making it a go-to for powering DIY circuits. I've connected this to my breadboard. Now I can power my microcontroller and sensors directly, switching between 3.3 volts and 5 volts as needed. It's so convenient. See how easily I can change the voltage for each channel independently? This flexibility is a game changer for prototyping. If you've ever struggled with unstable power supplies or had to juggle different adapters, this board simplifies everything. It's compact, easy to use, and incredibly reliable. Both the XL4016 adjustable buck converter and the YW robot power supply board are fantastic tools for DIY projects. Whether you're working with motors, LEDs, or digital circuits, these modules make power management easy and efficient. If you're serious about electronics, these are must-haves in your toolkit. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting DIY content. Let me know in the comments how you'd use these modules in your projects. See you in next video.